absolutely lovely day. So we're going to take a walk up north. Quite a steep walk, Carolina. I would estimate about four and a half kilometers. Go look for those edibles, <laughs> fast first rocks. So I think we're going to get going before the well, the tiger started pushing about an hour ago. So we'll be in time to get those nice fish. <laughs> this area we're targeting basically three species we went past first rocks and uh, there's a couple of banks in front of us here so red eye essential if you can get your hands on them good fresh chocker not the netted ones the ones that catch by hand lango tails in this area is absolutely deadly we get our bait from atcan marine nice and fresh Now fishing for the edibles on these beaches, one of my preferred outfits is my Saltiga 40 which I've had for years. It's done me very proud and I've got a HMG Poseidon light 14 foot, 36 ton. Lovely, lovely rod, nice action, can throw up to a 6 ounce, I've thrown 7 ounces but it can throw up to a 6 ounce com comfortably with a nice bait. You don't need more than that can handle any any fish up to 30 30 plus kilo fish on this outfit and I'm using giant abrasion 0.45 there we go as expected we waited for the high tide we got here about an hour and a half before and it was dead every cast was dead no bite and it's now about 30 minutes after high change the bait put a bit of red eye on oh it was in five minutes Actually, just put the rod in the pipe to change the other baits as well. And I saw the slack line. Nice big three spot pompada. Good size. Very, very nice size. Yes, he's there. Came all the way. Yo, good fish. Nice fish. <laughs> I thought I lost him there. Came all the way into the foam. See this bank start working straight after the high as the tide turned. Fish iron. Okay, now this is enjoyable fishing. If you ever look for enjoyable fishing, you see the bends in this rod taking line nice fight it's fast they take you hard I turned around and the rod was just going and when we got here shot all the way to the to the foam in front here and that's what they do they feel they're hooked so obviously they try everything to get rid of whatever it's in their mouth no no that was a pompano big one Now that was a fish of a lifetime, that was a massive pompano, about that size in length, over 10 kilos that fish. Ha! Keep leaving! Shot for shot! Already feel a little bit better after that pompano loss. No! <laughs> Spoke too soon. That's quite a bit of a walk back. Uh, about an hour and 20 minutes worth of walk if you look at the trees in the back there. Walk 
can see in yellow the bats in the background. Yeah, we had bats cave about two k's north of Mission Rock. And it's amazing, they're all obviously a bit worried with the noise here, yeah, with us talking. When preparing the baits, we obviously want to put a bait out there that most of those fish will eat. And you can't go wrong with a little chocker body built like this. You can put a little chocker that you tenderize over this and then you just add a bit of red eye on the back of it. Deadly bait to this area. You can replace the red eye with some prawn meat. You can even put a bit of crab on there. Anything you can, you can get in, in, in season. Obviously you're not allowed to take crayfish here. But crayfish is a deadly bait in this area. This is Caroline's bait and I'm just going to add add a little red eye on the back of that. Fold it open. It's nice working water. So I'm going to keep it a fleshy bait. Put the meat on the outside. And you always use your, the heat of your hand. It's frozen meat, uh, frozen red eye. So you basically use the heat of your hand to shape it together with a cotton. And the latex cotton is still one of the better cottons to actually shape the bait. Just put another beautiful catfish rock off. So you're going to get the hook out, keep it in the water, get the hook out to release it. Just cast it, it wasn't five minutes. Got flattened again, back into a hole again. I think I would have popped already, I've got a light mark. Just back around uh, Bats Cave before that we get trapped there. It's spring tide, so the water is pushing fast. So j just making our way back towards Mission Rocks before we get trapped. Well, we've had some scavengers this whole eve, this whole afternoon, picking on our baits, and I decided to change the smaller hook. Hook. Oops. There we go. Piece itself. See what it is. There we go. Beautiful little free spot from Pana. There we go. It's not a big one. It's not even a big one. It gave me so much carrot. Can you believe it? It's a fighter. Every hole it could see, it jumped in. Lost a couple this morning when we still had the good bait. We ran out of bait quite quickly and now. We've got nothing left. Caroline used. <laughs>